Now it's the DH. Jaron Duran looking for his first big league hit right here. Duran. The wind and the pitch. Right through there for a strike. All ones the count. Next offering is in for a strike. Here comes a pitch. And a swing and a miss. One away. And that's the first strikeout of his major league career. And it could be the first of many if he meets the goals he set for himself and the expectations others have for him. He doesn't want to just win games. He wants to dominate at this level. Do you think young pitchers could sometimes get too caught up in trying to rack up K's early in their career? Boog, I think they can. It's kind of like a hitter that doesn't have power. The thrill oh is still hitting the ball over the fence. And so oh for a guy, even right. if he doesn't have power stuff or strikeout stuff, a strikeout is still something that makes him stick his chest out a little bit further. Hey. Next offering is in for a strike. Out there on the mound, he's setting the tone early with the fastball, 98 miles per hour up on the scoreboard. One down, base is empty. On the ground to first, and that's just foul. And he deals. Foul ball still, a one and two count. One out, base is empty. He goes down looking. Well, there appears to be no problem settling in on the mound out there today. That's it looks pretty hurt. tough to start the this one, hit. punching out the first two hitters of this ball game. Yeah, and somebody's going to have to put the bat on the ball, put it in play, and get something going. Two outs, base is empty. Here's Rafael Devers. And the first pitch there. misses for ball one. Two outs. Up oh, and man. in. Ball two. Clobber to right field. Way back. Gone. He'll touch them all. And they jump out front. It's one nothing. Boog, his plan was to hit the ball hard, and he was going to figure out the rest later. You can't argue with those results. High velocity up and in is just such a difficult location for the hitter, but this time he pulls the hands tight to the body, gets through this pitch. What conviction in that swing. Awesome job at the plate. Base is empty with two away. Here's Tyler O'Neill. That one hammered center field. That's back. Pulls it in on the warning track. Solo shot opens the scoring for Boston. It's now a one-nothing ball game. Back after this on the show. Back here with my pal Siggy and towing the slab here, Cutter Crawford. Safe to say he's pretty stingy, Chris. Well, he's been a real quality starter for his club. And coming into this one, what stands out for me is that right-handed hitters have really struggled batting below 200 on the year. It seems and they have a hard time away. picking up his release point and hitter. tracking the ball yeah, into the zone. Good. So we'll see how yeah. right-handers do against him in this one. Yandy yeah. Diaz leading things off and takes a strike. Yeah. 
That's off the mark, and the count is one and one. one strike. To the left side, but it is well foul. And he grounds one to the right side. And he takes He's it himself out. for the out. Got it. Got it. All right, let's take a look at the Rays lineup. One guy leading the way offensively for this club right now, Jonathan Aranda. You know, Boog, he really makes the most out of his skill sets, leading the team in steals and on-base percentage. And, you know, you got sometimes a guy that can run really well, but he doesn't get on base enough to utilize that potential. As soon as this guy gets on first, he's thinking about second and then third. He's hey. got the wheels to make that kind of stuff happen and really one. disrupt the ball game. I love watching guys like him who just make stuff happen in the lineup. the pitch and delivers oh, outside out. Red Sox already leading fouled off to the right comes up empty as he chases that one in the dirt out on the oh. drop third strike two gone well I don't think there's a hitter alive that, that has it at some point to come to that pitch right there it just looks like it's in the zone the entire way and then the top spin and gravity take over in the blink of an eye and it's just such a tough pitch to lay off of now junior Caminero swing and a foul pushed off to the right and that will get out of play Kicks and deals. Swing and a ball lifted in the air left field. Pretty well struck. Bounces off the wall as he makes a great grab. Oh, man. Amazing catch to end the inning. As a former outfielder, I'm feeling proud right now. Saw the wall, didn't get afraid, held on to the ball. Back here at Tropicana Field, and now the first, the first baseman, baseman Connor Wong, Wong, trying Connor. to pick up his first knock Wong. in the big leagues. Bradley back to work. That one's upstairs, ball one. One and oh. Bradley measures six feet two inches, 190 pounds, and he was a fifth round pick back in 2018. Righty to the plate. Two balls, one strike. Right through there for a strike. The next pitch misses. Three balls, two strikes. And the right hander deals. And a foul ball, he stays alive. And the righty deals. Fly ball down the line. And a foul ball. A wide to kick the pitch. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. Now he's desperately looking for that swing and miss. He's going to have to just change speeds a little bit, try to move it around, and create just a little bit of illusion at the end. Swings and misses, struck him out. It gets talked about a lot, but a good high fastball in a two-strike situation, it's just become such a problem for hitters in more recent years. But with all of the emphasis by pitchers on developing that spin rate, having a good grip on the baseball, those high fastballs, they kind of look like to the hitter that they're rising, even though they're not, but they're not decreasing in velocity and spin rate. So very difficult to get the barrel on. Ed Drummond, our umpire behind the plate in this one. Yeah, Boogie's a really fair umpire, both the pitchers and the hitters. So standard strike zone, he's consistent with it. And the great thing is you don't see players questioning the calls too much. So that's a good thing in this day and age. Hey, hey. 
fastball for a strike. On the ground, right side. Lau sends it. it to first. Two up, two down on the top of the second. That is the short shot. Two Trevor outs, base is empty. Story. Here's Trevor Story. Swing and a foul straight back. Two outs, base is empty. That one catches the zone, and the count is 0 and 2. The shortstop takes the ball. Spoils the two strike pitch, and he'll see another. So glad these ballparks have installed the netting to protect the fans, keep things safer all around the league. Little dribbler up along third. Zips it across. Oh. Red Sox go one, two, three. Nothing doing for Boston, but they're on top, one nothing. Now in Tampa Bay, and here's the first baseman, Jonathan Aranda. And here it comes. That one called the strike. It's 0-1. Man, I mean, nice job just presenting it to be better than it actually was. That's a strike. Absolutely frozen on that heater right down the middle. And that's a pitch you're just not getting back. Now he's in a tough spot, especially after falling behind on a good first pitch. On the ground, Wong. Steps on first for the out. That is good. No left here. This is Dylan Carlson. California kid. Played for his dad at Elk Grove High School. His teammates there with Nick Madrigal. Late on that fastball. Well, the key to his success is getting ahead early in the count. He cannot afford to go deep in the counts. Doesn't have a ton of swing and miss stuff, so he's going to have to work efficiently. And that one fouled off. One down, base is empty. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. That one in the dirt. Got him. Two gone after the strikeout. Well, obviously, that was nowhere near the strike zone. By the time it got to the plate, people at home watching are thinking, what's he swinging at? But I'll tell you, some of the break guys snap off these days is just devastating. It can be so tough to recognize where a pitch like that's going to end up. Yeah, the batter now, Josh Lowe. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Home team down a run. Bottom half of inning number two. And he hits a ground ball right side. He takes it himself it. to the bag, and that'll do it. No runs, no hits, no errors. We play two full. It's the Red Sox one, the Rays nothing. And we're back, Leading all set for the Red start Sox. of the inning. And the stepping Red in for Boston, Danny Jansen. Danny Jansen. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. Pitch misses there, ball one. Oh. 
Hard hit left side. The throw to first. Lead off hitter gone in the third. So digging in, Sidane Rafaela. Good defender. He's been inconsistent offensively. And first offering is fouled off. One down, base is empty. And a foul ball. Righty delivers. That That's misses the, the zone. Now one and one two. Ball, two Kelly missed badly with that 0-2 fastball. Hitter has to understand. Probably wants to try to put him away with that pitch. So got to stay ready for it. And they'll do it again. Well, he's having a tough time getting a pitch by him. As a hitter, you feel pretty confident that you're seeing different pitches still able to make some type of contact. That smash towards center. DeLuca makes the grab on the run. Now batting Jaron Duran. There's one thing on his mind this at bat. Get that first hit at the big league level. That missed by a lot. And that is ball one. Chick swing. Tried to hold up. Now an appeal to third. And Woody Keller right on it. Says he held up. Two down. Nobody on. Hit weakly on the ground. Aranda takes it to the bag. And it's a 1-2-3 inning. Red Sox go down quietly. But they still lead it one nothing. And welcome back we to the ballpark. The Bottom Rays. of the inning, and stepping in for the Rays, Jose Caballero. Caballero. The wind of the pitch. That nope. one close oh. ruled the ball, and it's one and zero. Oh. Swing and a miss, and he was fooled. One and one. That All misses, two. and it's two and one. Two one. Swing and a miss, as he was late. I think he was sitting off two speed ball. there. Two strikes. And another ball. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. And he deals. Fouls that off to the left, and we'll do it again. And the pitch. That one misses. Right. So a leadoff walk. That's a great at bat. He saw a lot of pitches and earned a walk. Well, he tried to nibble Lead right there and the just red, missed red. his spot. Hit They're getting off for at it. Yeah. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. Yeah. Ben Rubin in the box now. Takes strike one. At the belt and fires. Strike two. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base. Trying to stay out of the double play right here. Zone with a curve for strike three. Well, that'll make you smile out there on the mound. 
Oh, he'll maybe move. pump out your chest a little bit farther. That's about as good of a backdoor curveball as you'll ever see. Right on the black. And not surprisingly, just locked him up in the box. Here's a speed threat. Johnny DeLuca. That one catches the corner for a strike. Caballero over at first with one away. Comes up empty. This is one of those situations the infielders have to pre-plan and understand that the ball's going to be hit extremely hard right at them if they're going to have a chance to go for a double play. And a pitch. To the right side. And he picks it up in foul territory. Starting to get some pretty good timing on that breaking ball, but he's going to have to stay ready for a fastball. Don't want to watch one go right by you. Pitch oh. misses. Now one and two. Well, that's kind of what you expect in an 0-2 count. Excellent job of the hitter to have the plate discipline to lay off of that pitch. Next offering is downstairs. Great job of laying off those pitches down in the zone to even the count off at two and two. Such a better feeling for the hitter. Now move to first. Caballero back in on a dive. The 2-2. Two -two. Will he chase that time? So here we go. Base runner at first. Could be running on the pitch. He's got good enough speed to steal the bag to get in scoring position, even if it's a swing and miss at the plate. Good battle here. About to be the eighth pitch of the at-bat. Outside, and that is ball four. It wasn't easy, but he earned that walk after a long at bat. He's making things difficult for himself right now out there on the mound, but you know, his confidence should still be high enough to get out of this, but he's going to have to buckle down right here. Diaz swings through it for strike oh one. Next offering upstairs. Two walks in the inning already, and he just doesn't seem comfortable out there. Like, he can find the right mechanics and then repeat them. And that one fouled off. Two on, one out. Got him swinging. That cutter right there had just enough movement on it to get the swing and miss. It wasn't a great location by any means. That's typically a spot that hitters can handle. So I'd say he fooled him with just enough of that late action. And now it's Brandon Lau. He's over one. First pitch misses. The Rays down by a run here in the last half of the third. Splits the plate and a count even at one. Oh, I think that pitch surprised all of us. Right down the middle, doesn't get a swing. Not very often you see a hitter lay off a cookie like that. Next offering in there for a strike. And that's strike two. And another ball. Got him swinging for the strikeout. He swung over top of the curveball. A lot of adrenaline, we can see it right there. And sometimes you just got to let it out. That's an outstanding job of taking that, executing, and getting out of a tough inning. Start of the fourth. Joe right stepping right in for Boston. The Romy Gonzalez. Romy Gonzalez. You know this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. Right hey. down the chute. Strike one. Well, we call that keyholing. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. Fought off foul.
That misses the zone. And yeah, the count one and two. Wouldn't chase ball. that time. Gets a piece and stays alive. Get on the ground to the right foul side. Ball. And foul ball. The pitch. Three. Goes down looking. And it's Rafael Devers in the box. He's already homered here in this one. And he grounds one back up the middle, and he can't come up with it. Throw to first, gets him. Good job to stay with it there for the second out. Now that what you do, Tyler. Two outs, bases empty. Tyler O'Neill getting ready to hit. He's over one. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Two down, nobody on. Top half of inning number four. Ripped, but it curls foul. Ball on a strike. He swings and fouls one off. I want to start that load a little bit sooner because of the good velo. The wind of the pitch. Good eye right there. It's a good take. Two outs. Swung on, belted. Low drop step going back. Pulls it in on the warning track. Three up, three down that time. To the bottom of inning number four now. It's the Red Sox one, the Rays nothing. Ready to go. Ready to bottom go. four. Ready. Now up for Tampa Bay. Junior Caminero. Junior. Coming and the right hander back to work. That one to first one. And he handles it himself for the out. Now back. First base Jonathan. So now it's the full hole hitter, Jonathan Aranda. Oh for one so far. up to the left into foul ground Devers drifts towards it and that's a foul ball next one misses ball one and another ball the Rays yet to pick up a hit here Next pitch is outside. Here's an opportunity to do some damage and perhaps unlock this offense. 3 1 count. Be ready to turn on a fastball. Bounce to the left side. And it goes just foul. The pitch. In the air, left field, down the line. Nobody can get there, and it's a foul ball. Bases empty, one away. We're here at the bottom of the fourth. 
foul ball, and it remains a full count. You can see he was trying to stay back long enough to handle the off-speed pitch, but just a little tardy on the fastball. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. Really good battle right there. That final pitch probably could have gone either way. He was hoping he'd get that four. Instead, the umpire rings him up for the backwards K. Now a chance for Dylan Carlson. Hit in the air, center field. Story settles underneath it. Makes the catch, inning over. Rays go in order. One, two, three. They're down. One, nothing. We go to the top Leading of the fifth, the right and now the first baseman, the Connor first base Wong. Base number 12. Connor Wong. Bradley back to work. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. And he beats it. He's safe. Connor Wong with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. Masataka Yoshida up next for the Red Sox. Grounded out his first time up. Right through there for a strike. Yoshida measures oh, five count. feet eight inches, 190 pounds, and he was born in Japan. The pitch. Swing and a liner foul off to the right. One ball. This two one strikes. kicks away a little as he can't squeeze it. No movement. Now a ball and two strikes. The pitch. Got him looking for the K. Here's Trevor Story now. First time up, he grounded to third. Trevor. Yep, and the pitch is outside, out. ball one. A swing and a miss, and that's strike oh, one. Oh, oh, Gets him to chase after that run. Man, that's One just ball. a nasty two splitter. Strike. Bottom falls out of it. You don't see a lot of guys throw that these days, no, but I'll tell you what, he's got a good one. Bradley checks over to first, and he's back. Wong leads off first with one away. The one, two. And that one upstairs. And now the count is full. And another power hitter lurking in the on-deck circle. Right-hander kicks deals. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. And a pitch. Got him looking. He battled for a long time, but it finishes with a strikeout. But you can't be mad at yourself after an at-bat like that yeah, one. Yeah. Well, interesting. He's looking very comfortable out of the stretch after giving up the leadoff single. Back-to-back -back strikeouts, so they haven't been able to move that runner up, get him in the scoring position, and try to have a better chance of scoring. I tell you, good job so far on the mound. He just needs one more out. And 
and a foul ball. The pitch. Aye. Fights it off, you'll see another. And yeah, the right hander deals. Ball. One ball, two strikes to count. Three. Swing and a miss, and he got him. Picks up strikeout number seven. And the Red Sox leave one, but they hold a one nothing lead. Here at Tropicana Field, John Chami with my buddy Chris Singleton. It's set to get us started. Bottom five, Josh Lowe. The right hander back to work. And that one is inside ball one. You don't want to get beat by a fastball in. And he spits on that one. Way out front for strike two. One ball, two strikes. That misses the zone, and the count is two and two. In the air, out towards left center. And there's one down. The batter number seven. So up next, Jose Caballero worked a walk in his first trip to the plate. Finds the zone. That's strike one. Ooh, over 80% of his first pitches are strikes. If you're doing that, you could have a really good day out there in the mound. And yep. a good eye there. 1 0. -oh. Right through there for a strike. Nothing but curveball so far in the at bat. Kind of makes it difficult as a hitter to know what to look for because you start wondering if he'll keep coming with it or if they'll try to speed That's you up. The shortstop takes the ball. Two balls, two strikes. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. Raised down by a run. Last half of inning number five. Righty to the plate. Got him looking. And there's two away. And now the catcher now comes up to him. Catcher. Ben Workvet went down looking on three pitches last time. Let's see if he can be a little more aggressive right here. Just missed. And that one pulled foul. Two down, nobody on. That's Bolton. On the ground to third. Slings to first, out with room to spare, and that's the inning. Rays held in check here, still behind by a count of one to nothing. Back now in Tampa Bay, top of the sixth inning, and now the center fielder, Sidane Rafaela.
and a pitch. That one nope. misses. One and oh. Nope. Tampa one Bay's and bullpen with some action. Ryan Pepio warming up for manager Kevin Cash. Clevenger warming up as well. Swing and a ball lined out towards center. DeLuca pulls it in on the run. So now here's the DH. Jaron Duran. Ball one, no strikes. That's down and in. Base is empty one away, and we're the top half of the sixth. Kicks and fires. And ball another break. ball. He hasn't fallen behind in the count like this all day. He's in danger of walking his first batter right here. Swing and a miss. Three and two now. Really consistent release point. He's been able to pitch up and down and have excellent command at both locations. Gassed it right by him. And next for the Red now Sox, back. Romy Second Gonzalez, who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. That one fouled off. Two outs. On the ground to third. Tosses to first. Red Sox go 1 2 3. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. 9 1 and 2 scheduled to hit in the home half of the sixth. It's the Red Sox 1, the Rays nothing. Well, we go bottom six, and now here's a speed threat. Outfielder Johnny DeLuca. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. That one in there across the letters. And that's in the dirt. Swing and a miss, and he chases that one in the dirt. Two strikes. The one, two. Two, two, yeah. That ball is foul, and the pressure is building. Hey. Struck him out looking. A big strikeout right there, and maybe a little controversial with the call. Yeah. Yeah. I think he got a little bit of favor on the mound. No yeah. question about it. It's not exactly yeah. what you want to see in a big spot like that, and I'm sure there's some chirping going on from the dugout, making it clear that wasn't his best call behind the plate today. Diaz, batted with one down, takes a strike. One down, base is empty. Bounding ball here, rolls foul. The Rays hitless so far in the game. That's off the mark, and it's one and two. Just misses the mark outside the zone. Really good take, especially with two strikes. On the ground right side, and that one handled. Whips it to first, and that quickly two away. Now that, the second base. Wow. Lau at the plate. Wow. 
Swing and a high fly ball down the left field line, but hooking foul. The Rays trailing by a run here in the bottom of the sixth. Foul ball there. gets on base and keeps it going. Brandon Lau with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, dude. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. So next to the plate for Tampa Bay, Junior Caminero. This one in the air. Gonzalez puts it away, and that is the inning. The Rays strand just the one, and it remains 1-0. And we're back. Leading Devers now. The third base Raphael. Yep. Here comes a pitch. Ball and one. there's a ball. Definitely a frustrating day for the offense, but when they look at it, this guy's had his best stuff. He's painting the corners, working on the edges, and changing speeds. Just a difficult one. You tip your cap. That nope. one inside, That's and the count is 2-0. Wouldn't Great chase up. that time. Ah. Next offering in there for a strike. Three and one. High fly ball out towards left field. Carlson going back on this one. And it hits the fence. The throw into second. Oh, he throws it away. Putting some good swings on the ball. That's his second extra base hit in this one. Just missed out on a home run right there, but he certainly hit it hard enough. Just didn't have the right launch angle to carry it over the wall, but still an excellent swing of the bat. Tyler O'Neill up next for the Red Sox. Got to be careful with a slugger like this because he could turn it into a three-run game in the blink of an eye. That misses the zone. Ball one. Just missed. 2 0 count to a guy with this much pop at the dish. You better expect him to be turning on something. It's going to either get hit hard to the pull side or the fans better look out in the stands. And a foul ball makes the count two and one. Man at second. That one down the line, and that's just foul. And the righty deals. That one is absolutely belted. It one hops off the wall. Should be extra bases. He pulls into second. A run comes in on the play. The first base is number 12. So he gets two milestones with that hit. His first big league knock. And he drives in his first run as well. Yeah, you love to get both of those out of the way with just one swing of the bat, and it makes the special moment even more special. It's not just an individual accomplishment when you're also driving in a run for your team. That's an at-bat he's never going to forget. the skipper and we're going to see a pitching change in this spot Taj Bradley departs and he exits in line for the loss but overall he pitched pretty well we'll be back with a new pitcher in a minute now Ryan Pepio gets the call from the pen on for his major league oh, yeah, debut yeah, yeah. and a moment he will never forget better believe that it's always so special the first time 
you get into a big league ball game. I did it as a position player, but for him, as a pitcher, I'm sure there's some nerves there. Probably don't want to squeeze the baseball too tight. Just relax and do what you're capable of doing. Connor Wong will hit next. And that'll fall for a base hit. O'Neill flies around third. He scores, and they're up by three. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. That can be a really tough pitch to handle, a front door breaking ball. But he did a great job staying in there, keeping that front shoulder closed. He didn't spin off the ball and hook it foul, which happened so many times. Masataka Yoshida up next for the Red Sox. First oh, offering, and it just misses. Right-handed reliever, runner on the go, oh. pitches low. Throw to second, great jump. When you're trying to swipe a bag against an elite level arm behind the plate like this guy, you better get a great jump and hope that your speed can finish this job. That was a great jump right there, really nice steal at second base. Left-hand hitter waits. That one spoiled and the count now two and one. Kicks and deals. Out towards right center field. Low ranging after it. He's got it. Runner tags and will move up to third. The bat Trevor. Trevor Story comes up to the plate. This is all about situational hitting. It's crucial in this spot. Do whatever it takes to put the ball in play, and hopefully you find a gap in the defense. Slider for a strike. Next offering is in for a strike. Oh, he didn't like those first two pitches down in 0-2 hole. He's going to have to battle. Hope he gets a mistake. Up and in. Going to count one and two. That's a really good job of laying off the 0-2 high fastball. Is going to make that pitcher really have to respect. Now a screamer into the outfield. Drops into the glove. Runner tagging and heading for home. He's in on the sack fly, and they're up by four. Sometimes that can be a little tough to score on. It was hit so hard that getting back to the bag to tag takes a little bit of time by the time that outfielder catches it, but a really good job of getting that run in from third. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. Two down. Nobody on. Swing and a miss. That's strike two. The high fastball, particularly for young hitters, can be hard to lay off of because you see it so well at eye level, but it's really hard to catch it. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that'll do it. So they get three runs on three hits, no errors, and no one left on. Seventh inning stretch time. The Red Sox four, the Rays nothing. And welcome and back to the ballpark. For the Rays. And here's the first baseman, the first Jonathan baseman. Aranda. Jonathan. The Rays in striking oh, distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the leadoff man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. Hit hard on the ground to short. Zips it to oh. first. And they get the leadoff hitter in the seventh. Now got left fielder, Dylan Carlson. So digging in, Dylan Carlson. That one in the dirt, and that's ball one. The other way, and it stays fair. Around first and hustling for second. The throw in, and his first big league hit is a double. Dylan Carlson with his first major league hit, and this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats.
Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, Boog. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. One out, runner at second. Now it's the right fielder, Josh Lowe. And that clips the corner. These fans, they are ready to cheer about something. The Red Sox leading by four here at the bottom of the seven. Ball one there. Boston's bullpen with some activity. Chris Martin preparing to come on if needed. Pavetta also throwing. Here's a 1 1. That's to third. And that one finds its way through. Around third. Now a long throw home. It's offline. The run comes in. So he gets two milestones with that hit. His first big league knock. And he drives in his first run as well. Yeah, you love to get both of those out of the way with just one swing of the bat. And it makes the special moment even more special. It's not just an individual accomplishment when you're also driving in a run for your team. That's an at-bat he's never going to forget. Runner on at first with one gone. And stepping in for the Rays, Jose Caballero. Runner takes off. Pitch in for a strike. Safe at second, and he easily steals the bag. At the belt and fires. The shortstop takes the ball. Low. The runner at second with one away. Just oh, missed. And he deals. Fouled off. He was late. Now just about to hit that century mark. A hundred pitches for this game. And here it comes. Swing and a miss at the splitter, and it's a strikeout. Well, that split caught a lot of the zone. Definitely a hittable pitch. Now, but coming off the fastball the pitch before, it's kind of tough to recognize. You notice there's something different about it. He threw it with the same arm action, same release point, and he left it up. But the movement and the change of speeds, that was enough to do the job. And now here is Ben Workvet. sure he'll never forget congrats yeah great moment for him and his family a guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen and when it does it can kind of be overwhelming dude. you still have to stay locked in on the game but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here manager out of the dugout now and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound Cutter Crawford won't go any further tonight. And the line not closed on him yet as he's responsible for the runners on base. Back with a new pitcher after this. Chris Martin will take over here on for his major league debut. So we'll see if he's ready for the big stage. He just has to remember this is the same game that he's played all the way through the minor leagues to this point. The only difference, there are just more people in the stands and it's a bigger stadium. But the game itself is still the same. Look at the catcher, whatever fingers he puts down, that's what you throw. And just let him lead you in this one. 
Next to hit, Johnny DeLuca. Oh, what misses? And that is ball one. And a oh, good eye there. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. Tying run at the plate. That's to third. Slides for the stop. And that's a Rebound. nice play to end the inning. But the RBI single pushes across a run. It's now 4-1. Ready to begin the eighth and stepping in for Boston, Zidane Rafaela. Rafaela. And a pitch. Pepe, a 6'3 righty, 26 years old, and they went out and made a trade for him last season. You know, these Red Sox, simply put, are producing a lot of quality swings. They've hit seven line drives already, and even though some of them have been for outs, there's nothing wrong with delivering consistent, hard contact. That's almost always going to lead to positive results. So the Red Sox lineup turns over. Next is the designated hitter, Jaron Duran. And that's in for a strike. Just oh, off it. the inside edge. There's a swing and a drive. Way back there. Gone. That one felt good. His first homer of the year, and they tack on to their lead. It's 5-1. Already playing with the lead, and now they're celebrating a home run. They're having a great time out there. Now, Boo, clearly some frustration out there on the mound right now. I mean, that ball was so close to going foul. Would have been a long strike, but instead... Batter gets rewarded. Did a nice job of getting to the pitch and hitting it hard enough to get over the fence. So one out, nobody on. Next to hit, Romy Gonzalez. Just missed. offering is in for a strike back-to-back -back fastballs in that last one called for a strike probably go away but look for him to come back in there to try to finish you off yeah, now two balls and a strike one out base is empty and a run in and we're at the top of the eighth comes up empty as he chases that one in the dirt Probably those hitters count sometimes can be a little too aggressive and a good pitcher will play off of that he's got to get a better pitch to hit and down on strikes he goes too long uh, tough night at the dish punching out for the third time right there he just hasn't looked very comfortable with the plate a little unsure of his timing right now not picking up the spin and location of these pitches he'll have some adjustments to make Rafael Devers up to hit. He had a big swing for these guys way back in the first inning. Yeah, Boog, he didn't waste any time in this one. The solo shot really got his team going, and he's looking for more right here. Yeah. Clips the corner, and that is strike one. And a strike in there. Foul ball still 0 and 2. The wide to kick the pitch. That one, one almost got him. Right. Next offering misses down and away. Oh. 
swings and blasts one deep to left center. Way back there. Oh, just shy of the wall. But the solo shot stretches their lead even further. It's now 5-1. You're dialed into the show. Out of the bottom of the eighth, Yandy Diaz now. And a pitch. Lined, and that's a base hit. Just kind of sliced that one into center. Yandy Diaz with his first major league hit, and this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, Boog. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. Brandon Lau, next to hit for the Rays. One for three. That's in there. Strike one. Now, these guys definitely Hold looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. And the 0-1. Foul ball. Sharp grounder. That's through for base hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield. And took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. And maybe they've got something going here. Trying to get back into this one. Junior Caminero next to hit for the Rays. There's a strike, 95 of that one. Oh, one. Double-barreled action in the bullpen. Nick Pavetta getting ready to go. Jansen getting loose as well. The Red Sox leading by four. Here the bottom half of the eighth inning. Splits the plate, 0-2. Grounder might be two. Flips for one. How about that double play? Well, that's what you hope for if you're out there on the mound. First and second, nobody out. Somehow get a ground ball. They got it right there. Nice double play by the infield. Next to bat will be the Rays' four hitter, Jonathan Aranda. 0 for 3 with two ground outs and a strikeout. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. offering his foul back. On the ground to the left. And foul ball. Left-hand batter waits. Now he breaks his bat. And a foul ball. Foul ball, it stays nothing in two. Right hander kicks deals. Oh, and now one and two. Oh, and two. another ball. Two, two, yeah. two outs. Wouldn't yeah, chase cool. that time. the matchup we're seeing here six foul balls in this at bat alone really making him work out there hangs and misses it's a strikeout one left for Tampa they're down 5-1 we're back 
Back, it's the top of the ninth. And there's a new pitcher on the mound, Manuel Rodriguez. And this is the best way to make your major league debut. No one on base. Yeah, you're already going to be a little nervous out there. So I think it's a nice job by the skipper to get him in here without any added pressure with traffic on the bases. The pitch. O'Neill in the box now. No balls and a strike. Bullpen movement for the Rays. Tyler Alexander warming up for manager Kevin Cash. Clevenger, the power lefty, up as well. The 0 1. That inside one missing ball. inside. Oh, yeah. The outside corner. One and two. Great. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Good pitch right there. I mean, he's attacking a location that this guy at the plate tends to have trouble with. And there's just so much information in this day and age, sometimes too much information. But the guys that can take that information, process it, and then go out there, Boog, and execute the pitch, go right after that hitter, and get the result that they were anticipating, that's really good pitching right there. And it's a good job of the pitcher oh, and the count. catcher working together. One down, base is empty. Swing and a miss. Chased it out of the zone. Well, don't expect too many more high fastballs. This is a good sinker ball pitcher, and sometimes they can make mistakes trying to pitch up in the zone. Look for him to stay That's down around the knees to be effective. One ball, two strikes. Base is empty, one away. Here at the top of the night. Good eye right there. And that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. Deep drive down the line. Foul ball. Got good solid contact right there. Just a bit out in front of that fastball. Got to try to stay on that backside just a little bit longer and see if you can do some damage. Runs it up to 96 to record the punch out. Chance to strike out the side now. You talk about the benefits, the advantages of relievers who can come in and get the swing and miss, whether it's inherited runners or maybe a little jam that they get into themselves. Hey. Knowing that they can miss the bat, tell you what, that's huge. It can change the ball game. And he's in there at the knees. Next offering way Two off strikes. the plate. In the air to left center. He makes the grab, and that's the third out. Nothing doing here this half. Five, six, and seven will lead things off in the bottom of the ninth. It's the Red Sox five, the Rays one. Back now as they hand the ball to a fresh arm to start the bottom of the ninth, Nick Pavetta. And he comes on here for the first time this season, and I'm sure there's some nerves involved in that, so we'll see how he settles in. Yeah, the batter now, Dylan Carlson. The left fielder. The pitch. Just missed. Count 1-0. Yeah, it's even up. In this situation, you expect the batters to be a little more patient, possibly take until they get a strike. With that, you don't want to miss your opportunity to get ahead early in the count. He didn't right there. The 1-1 is fouled off. Righty delivers. Fouls it off. Still 1-2. and two. The pitch. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. The one-two. Swing and a ball popped up on his way over. Pulls it in for the out. The right field, number 15. He's two outs away. Now up for Tampa Bay, Josh Lowe. 
Picked up an RBI in his last at bat. Still their only run of the game so far. That one pushed to the left and foul. Ball and that's one. downstairs and outside. I got a ball, one strike. And they're at the knees. And the count one and two. The wind of the pitch. Just off the outside part of the plate. Two balls, two strikes. And okay. another ball. Payoff pitch. Ripped to short. Story sends it over to first. Two up, two down. The batter number seven. Shortstop. Last chance for the Rays. And now the shortstop, Jose Caballero. In there at the knees for a strike. Caballero tries to hold up, appeal to first. No swing. He held up. Clyde Washington with the call there. Here's a 1 1. Swings through that one for strike two. One ball, two strike. One strike away. Hard hit, right side. On to first, ball game. Crawford with his first major league win. Yeah, nicely done. I'm sure he'll feel very good about that and get the ball for his trophy case as he should. A start he won't ever forget. 5-1 is how it ends. Boston picks up a huge win on the road. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chomby. Talk to you soon.